Ready na? Ready na? Ready na. O, oh, na ba tayo? Ay, hindi! <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. Siyempre, owner na tayo! Alright, let's go. Okay. Alright, good day guys. We're, go- we're group 3 of GUD 104C1. Uh, I'm Matthew Andre De Leon. I'm Joaquin Dichoso. I'm Jose Rafael Comenda. You can call me Jay for short. So, what is topic natin today sa ating you know, low budget the podcast? If I could call Our it that, topic... I can be on. <laughs> Our topic for today is Francis Bacon, a, a, a revolutionary in the field of science and technology. Ah, yes. Francis Bacon, appetizing name aside, is an English author, philosopher, and statesman. He was born on the 22nd of January and in 1561 in the Strand, London, England. Yeah. And he died 65 years later on April 9th and of the year 1626. He was also married to a woman named Alice Barnum. Did you fit in your name? Right? Bacon and ham. Let's go. Now, all my soulmate, <laughs> na. Tas like pangalam pala ano. Anyway, more on Francis Bacon. He is someone who has revolutionized the way we do science today. It really makes you think about what kind of gizmos and inventions were being made during his time and how his knowledge and approach was viewed at the time. Because like, sipping yun ba? In a society that is dominated by both the government and the church, it's really hard to like present your ideas forward without being ridiculed for it. And ayun nga, no? so the main theme about Francis Bacon is doubt, as you will figure out later. And ayun nga, so ayun. Mm, many doubted him, but look what's happening now. Yeah. Diba? Anyway, speaking of, uh, what made him think of discovering the scientific method? Did he just want to challenge Aristotle's? Aristotle? Or because he was bored? Or drunk? Or did he really see something wrong with what was going on in society? Yeah, alcohol can go a long way. Yeah. Great question. Not sure about the hypothesis, but it's a good start. Francis Bacon was a that. He was also very much interested in the inventions and discoveries of his time. Like the printing press, gunpowder, the compass, and such and such. He marveled at the idea of improving lives and sim- simplifying activities. He was always motivated by discovering the truth behind institutions and believed that philosophy should have practicality. Ah, uh, so is this Yes, you know actually. Francis Bacon believed in the theory of epistemology. Epistemology? <laughs> ah, I don't care. Okay. Uh, epistemology is the belief that knowledge of our world should come from careful data gathering and collection with our senses. Basically, an expanded form of Aristotle's syllogism. I'm yeah. going to pronounce it. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, there's two L, so like, maybe it's syllogism, but you know what? Anyway, regardless of the pronunciation, that is actually correct. Why am I holding this? Anyways, you catch on quick, so <laughs> I think that. Uh, Well, this whole thing is scripted after all. Hey, wait now. Oi! 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 Sorry about that. Jer has a tendency to break character. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't make it worse, okay? Anyways, yeah, Francis Bacon believed in epistemology. So, I... Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, I mean, good idea for some modern science. It makes it seem like that he just criticized Aristotle and then just expanded his work. So, are you sure it's not just a plagiarizer like Sigmund Freud or someone of the sort? It's a bit of a hot take there. Uh, well, uh, my fourth wall-breaking friend, Francis Bacon is, uh, is the father of the modern empiricism. You know, the scientific method, he was one of many brilliant and behind it. You know what? That's right. You see, 
Mm-hmm. Inductive reasoning to Francis Bacon <coughs> was all about close observation in the name of the scientific discovery and knowledge. The crux of his empiricism were that scientists should be more methodical and skeptical when they approach science to ground them in reality. So, what's the name of Baconian method or Baconian method? Yeah, uh, you know, let's let's go with yep. Baconian because it's hard to understand. Yep, the Baconian method is a more skeptical approach to science. This view did not catch on, sad. Hmm, I see. But even if the Baconian didn't really stick, Francis Bacon still had a long-lasting contribution to the scientific method. It revolutionized the way we do science today, yep. surprisingly. And it's all thanks to Francis Bacon that we can make practical applications to science and understand our world more efficiently. Because you know, if you have doubts, you're gonna look for answers more properly. So, ayun. Exactly. Yeah, because what was it like back then? Uh, this happened. Okay, God did. Okay. Yeah. Like- That's it. That's what it was like back so, then. Uh, guess, but guess that's it. Parang lang. Oh, parang they just leave it at that, and there's no, re- there's not really much room anymore for scientific discovery and understanding the world around us because they just stop at there. Like, what's the, the testing, the proving, the experimentation, the, the attempts, right? Yeah. Um, and where's, like. Where's the think about it? Yeah, cause like that so, end, nung like 15th century, wala pa siyang wala pa tayong super like concise na scientific method. So most of the experiments and researches back then weren't really the most productive. So of course, like champion na notice to the mga scientists and obviously Francis Bacon is a very big part in revolutionizing the way we actually think and discover because like imagine mo to. Mm. did you know that uh isaac newton didn't actually learn directly from an apple falling down the tree man oh my gosh gravity wow so that's not actually the full story the full story is that he was working on something about kinet of potentials and kinetic energies and he was running calculations however he was uh there were there were a bit of a lot of missing valuables or valuables no variables my bad and he noticed that an apple fell on a from the tree in a distance so that is actually I know the the apple was not the main reason why Fra- what not Francis Isaac Newton was able to discover the gravity but rather it was the trigger that made him think about it so <coughs> parang ganun siya we if we doubt things more we're gonna uh, see a bigger picture on everything like mm-hmm. mas ma- mas malaking view so parang halimbawa did you mm-hmm. know and here's another example here's the better one did you know that this mic actually isn't working? Uh, no, because we're still able to hear you, naman, so we just assume that you're doing that mic. Yeah, but Pero, now well, that you mention it, look at the big how are you speaking? Witchcraft. Well, <laughs> no, <really>. witchcraft. <laughs> I yeah, actually I'm, have. But the dogmatic different... people back then would see it as witchcraft, right? Exactly. Because you know, now that like, you since you mentioned it, nag nagtaka kami like, paano paano siya nag nagsasalita? Namin naririn. Paano? How can we hear him yeah. if his lapel is not working? There must be something else that's amplifying his voice for him, de ba? Yep. So, you know, so uh, again, another example is the. Let's use let's use the airplane as an example. So, if we thought like the pole before Francis Bacon, we probably would have said, stick some 
planks on the sides of an object, throw it and it will fly and it will go for a distance and then fall down. But no, it no. Thanks to the Baconian method, uh, humanity was able to discover concepts like uh, thrust, lift, drag, and weight, aerodynamics, engine, uh, powered flight, and weaponized flight, and even manned bombs, like the kamikaze pilots of old. So it is because of the Baconian Bic- uh, Bic- method, humanity is able to push forward with technology sometimes to the point of killing each other but yeah let's still. let's let's leave that off a bit <laughs> let's, uh, let's let's just yeah. overlook that part you know yeah but it's still a part of you of uh something that the baconian method that francis bacon is contributing to because in a way uh, if you think about it the way we do things now and the way and the stuff that we invent today all stem from a question, a need, and, ex- and a few experiments here and there, and trials and errors. So it is because of that, me- it is because of Francis Bacon that we're able to kind of, uh, you know, add method to what the church back then would call madness you know it's time it's time yeah i think yeah i'm getting a little hungry now so okay okay well that's it for today's podcast guys i hope you guys enjoyed our little pero pang napahaba dami na pagusta pero sana natin enjoy kayo about gay francis bacon see you guys soon bye bye Anyways, like the god guys, all this bacon talks really make me hungry. Try na yun. Sta libre mo. Oh, I got na guy, ikaw na kay si Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, nako. Di mo tatanggap kasi si Nepri na ulit. I'm gonna be broke. You know what guys? You know what guys? Bagong experiment natin. Kailangan maubusan ng pera si JR. Tama. Application ng geology ng pera. Nice. Nice. Anyway, <laughs> let's po- go. Thanks for watching Bye. the podcast. Bye bye. Thanks for listening, pala. Not watching, uh, pero hindi naman to podcast, so whatever. I, mean, I guess it is kind of a podcast, so yeah. It's a vidcast. Oh, it do be a podcast. <laughs>